Hi, my name is Alex from Drunken Rides Garage. Today we are working on my woman's 08 Chevy Cobalt two-door. We got a uh, Amazon Auto Round wheel bearing. It already has eBay wheel bearings on the front. eBay doesn't want to replace it. Upsetting me about it. They only been on the car since April, so around six months. This is a damaged box item from Amazon. $22 and some change shipped to my door. It even came with gloves. Never seen a wheel bearing or anything comes with gloves, even from the parts store. Um, there's an auto round. Part number is 513205. Um, this actually seems like a decent wheel bearing. To be honest with you, this is nice and tight. A lot tighter than the one that I put on there. So, there's the box. It's on around. Let's see. There's a label there. I got. It's actually pretty decent quality. This is high quality. Wheel bearing assembly on there. I think it really is. It's not bad. But let me get some tools out here in a jack. Sorry if you can barely hear me. It's windy here. Uh, we're doing this in my driveway. There's the Camaro guys. Uh, rust bucket over there. Rusty 250 over there. But we also got this Beretta in my driveway that needs to be running too. So you guys eventually see on the channel. But we got to get this done. Daily driver. All right, I got my few little Harbor Freight tools. Uh, I got this from a local Royal King Harmon home and garden, farm, garden, whatever you want to call it. A little Craftsman box. You got to have the Milwaukee fuel, though. If you ain't got that, you ain't doing it right. And you got to have the Pittsburgh Jack. If you ain't got this, I don't know where you all at. But there she is. She's going to be coming off there. Uh, give me one moment here, and we'll get to work. We're going to start jacking this baby up to get to work. Right Make sure we watch that old girl. in here let's take a look at this i don't know if you guys can hear me come on in here and take a look at this we got some clay got some clay in her she's definitely blue so i'm gonna take that off there see what's actually doing it Pittsburgh socket. Yep, she's 30. Dang, that's much of a never seize on it. Anti seize, you want to call it. Alright. I'm going to get over here. I'm going to turn this wheel so I get this 15 millimeters. Can't really tell. Be a 
14. Yeah, must be a 15. This is a Menard socket. Yep, 15 millimeter. I'm gonna say, well, you need to tie this up, but right now I can just hang here. Not bad for eBay wool bearing. I mean, rotor, but I never anti seize on it. I use a lot of that stuff. Let's see. Yep, brake pads are still good, still great shape. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get our nuts off here. Those are 15, this is a 30. Fifteen millimeter. Take the wheel bearing off. Should just come off with a three inch ratchet. Hope. Use the old Milwaukee. Let's see. Let me get on. Bring them on down in here for a minute. Show them what we're doing. Just broke this loose. Hold on. There's one. Now this upper one's always a little bit of a pain. Two. Alrighty. Third one's right there. Let's see if we can get it out without moving that wheel. I'm turning the wheel on here. Good. See there? This is why you're supposed to use a hanger. But not in this case, not today. Stab links are shot. Still ain't replaced those. Got those sitting in the trunk.
off there. Should just come right off. Damn near. I would say. Put a lot of net tie seams on it. They have anti seams all over them bolts. Oh, come on. I ain't never had no bull crap happen like this. Oh, it's about bush light 30. Strong. Make sure your fingers start them in there. You don't want to cross cut them and have a mess. Yep, 15. 1,400 foot pounds. go on the right side you can tell that one goes towards the caliper and the piston of the caliper that's what you want back on there Yeah. Should she on there? Put your old caliper back on. Always put anti seize on them bolts. I already did these a couple months ago. And they're Okay, there's that. I don't want that. I want to just use this one. Cheap Chinese crap.
back on her. See how she is. Next step, painting up all your wheels. Put all your tools back where you got them. Set that wheel bearing to the side. That. Turn the wheel back straight. Oh yeah, Harbor Freight Jacks decide they want to lose the prime and whatever the heck you want to call them. So you got to always add fluid to them before they go down. Should have had a jack stand in there, but don't have one here. Always put a little anti-season in here. I have some on here still. I guess I don't have any with me, so putting it back together. Tight. Oh, here she is. Got to do it. All right. That's up this episode of the Chevy Cobalt. Time to shut her down.